Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. In recent discussions, there has been a persistent mention of red denomination, specifically the idea of Iraq issuing new currency notes without the three zeros. This concept has garnered attention among those following the Iraqi dinar's economic trajectory. To understand this fully, it's crucial to unpack the implications and the broader context of such a move. Red denomination refers to the process where a country adjusts its currency by scaling down the face value of its notes. For example, if the current currency has denominations in thousands, red denomination might mean reissuing notes where 1,000 old dinars are replaced by one new dinar. This is often perceived as a mere accounting exercise aiming to simplify transactions and pricing without impacting the actual value of the currency. Hence, it's termed a neutral event. However, for Iraq, the likelihood of red denomination seems minimal. There are several reasons why such a step might not align with the country's economic objectives or realities. Firstly, red denomination does not inherently reflect economic growth or stability. It's a superficial change that doesn't address the underlying economic conditions. The true strength of a currency is derived from its country's economic performance, including factors like GDP growth, inflation rates, and overall economic stability. Iraq's focus, therefore, should be on fostering real economic growth rather than cosmetic changes to its currency. Iraq has been through a tumultuous period with significant challenges, including political instability, conflicts, and economic sanctions. These factors have greatly influenced its economic landscape and the value of the Iraqi dinar. As the country works towards recovery and stabilization, the aim should be to build a robust economy where the currency's value increases organically through improved economic conditions. In this context, the idea of moving towards a forex float becomes more relevant. A forex float means allowing the currency's value to be determined by the foreign exchange market based on supply and demand dynamics. This approach reflects the actual economic conditions and the global market's confidence in the country's economy. If Iraq were to adopt a forex float, it would signal a move towards greater transparency and integration with the global economy. Now, Considering the timing of a potential red denomination, if it were ever to happen, the question arises whether it should occur before or after transitioning to a forex float. From a strategic standpoint, implementing red denomination before a forex float might seem practical to simplify the currency system beforehand. However, it could also be argued that the focus should first be on strengthening the economy and establishing a stable floating rate. Once the economy is more stable and the currency value is naturally increasing, red denomination could then be considered as a part of broader economic reforms. Ultimately, Iraq's economic success and the value of its currency should come from substantial economic growth and stability. This involves creating a favorable business environment, investing in infrastructure, and ensuring political stability. By focusing on these core areas, the value of the Iraqi dinar can grow organically, reflecting the true economic progress of the country. Therefore, while red denomination might pop up in discussions periodically, it is not the most critical factor for Iraq's economic future. In summary, the key takeaway is that Iraq's path to economic recovery and the strengthening of its currency lies in real, measurable economic growth. Red denomination, if it ever happens is secondary to the primary goal of achieving a stable and thriving economy.